When you think about red wine from Tasmania, you automatically think about Pinot Noir, and there's a reason for that, about 55% of all of the grapes grown in Tasmania are Pinot Noir. Um, but there is a small and growing amount of um, Shiraz planted in Tasmania. So about 1% of all of the fruit picked in the, from the 2023 vintage was Shiraz, uh, which was more than Cabernet and Merlot, um, and only slightly less than Pinot Mounier, which is the second highest planted red grape variety um, down here in Tassie. So I thought it might be fun for this International um, Shiraz Day um, to have a look at a couple of Tassie Shiraz, um, or Syrah as they are also known, um, and see what uh, differentiates them from warmer climate um, Shiraz that you may be more used to drinking. Um, so I've got a little selection here. I've got the Hughes and Hughes Syrah, Home Oak Shiraz, uh, Riversdale Syrah, and also the Meadowbank Syrah. Um, Syrah and Shiraz are the same variety, but generally Syrah, I guess, um, is used more um, for the French style, which tends to be a little bit lighter and more spicy, which is the style that we make down here um, in Tassie as well. So the, the Hughes and Hughes um, is from, the fruit is from the Coal River Valley, which is um, near Hobart. And this one has got much more of that really raspberry, juby, um, spice characters on the palate. It's got some really nice fruit and lovely fine tannin so it's not as rich and dense as what you would get from um, a warmer climate Shiraz and moving on to the home oak which is obviously um, our wine and, and located here in the Tamar Valley um, with ours you get a little bit more of those sort of chocolate and spice characters and again fine tannins and medium um, weight on the palate so they're not that big heavy style of Shiraz but yeah lovely medium weight quite pretty and elegant style that one and then moving on to the Riversdale. So the Riversdale is um, also located in the, in the Coal River. So quite warm and dry um, in the Coal River Valley. And this one is a bit more of that bigger style. It's got a little bit more oak influence. Um, so you get some lovely sort of vanilla and spice characters in this one. And it's probably the fullest bodied of the, um, the wines um, that we've got here um, as well. And being from the 2021 vintage, it's a little bit older. Um, and also a really nice warm vintage, that one. Um, and then moving on to the, um, the Meadowbank. So this is um, in the Derwent Valley, also quite warm and dry in the Derwent Valley. Both of those valleys are protected by um, the mountain range um, that protects Hobart from, from getting too much um, wet weather. And this one's got that really nice lifted sort of pepper and, and spice character that you um, expect from Shiraz but still pretty and elegant. So not too much of those plummy fruit characters, more of the, um, more of those sort of raspberry, blueberry kind of characters on the nose. And this one's probably the most savory of all of them on the palate. So you've got that really fine tannin and that, um, that sort of lovely little bit of acidity on the finish and some nice grip through the mid palate as well. So I was quite surprised to be able to, um, to walk into quite a commercial bottle shop and be able to um, to find these wines. They are becoming more widely available and more accessible. Um, so next time you're wanting more of a, a medium weight style of wine and um, you're looking for something a little bit different, um, definitely consider Tasmania Shiraz. Cheers.